Hey guys, how's it going? Thank you so much for watching our Yay Star 2021 Tech Talk. I'm Jason. Well, in today's video, I'm actually going to talk about our new firmware on Yay Star P Series PBX. I believe some of you guys may have heard about it. Uh, we have some new features available on this new firmware. So anyway, I guess this is a pretty good opportunity for me to present to you guys exactly what kind of new features do we have on this new firmware. So let's start talking about it. All right. Now, the first feature I'm going to talk about in today's video is going to be CTI. Yes, you're right. Computer telephony integration is back on our yeah, you start P Series system. And by the way, it's not just back on the P Series system, it's actually available on your web client. Something so cool, right? So I guess the best way for me to show you guys how do we make this CTI feature works on our system is to show you in the live demo. So let's just jump into this system, all right? How about we just jump into the web client, show you guys exactly how do we use it, all right? Now you can see I'm actually locked into my web client right now and you can see this is my user information. Uh, I'm Jason New, right? This is my individual user account. So I'm in this web client. And uh, so got a question here. How can I enable this CTI feature on the web client? Pretty simple, you know, on the top side banner here, you guys can see we have this little icon here. You can just click on that. That will be the place where you can switch between web client mode to the CTI mode. And uh, when you click on that, you will see that if you have an IP phone registered successfully already, then there you go. You will see your IP phone will be posted here. So I'm going to click on this. All right, pretty simple. This is just the way how I'm going to switch from the web client to the CTI mode. Now, basically, means I'm going to use my web client to control this IP phone right now, right here. Now, how about we just make a call, right? See how do we use that? I'm going to make a call to extension 1001. Let's do it. All right, it's raining now. So you guys can see currently I'm controlling my IP phone through the web client and it's raining on my IP phone right now. Let's just wait for Philip to pick it up. Okay, now it's connecting. All right, it's connected. Okay, yeah. Looks pretty good, right? Very simple. I guess this might be the easiest way for you to control your IP phone through your web client. That's it. That's what we can do with this computer telephony integration solution on our web client. All right. Well, actually, not just CTI available on our new firmware. This time, we also have something else. For example, this time, we also have group voicemail feature. That feature is also supported on our PCR system. And by the way, this group voicemail feature, it's actually, I think it's a pretty good solution because we can have two different options uh, for this group voicemail. Option one, you can use our group voicemail for voicemail sharing. Uh, that's really functional for lots of you know scenarios. For example, if you're running a service center like a like a call center, like a queue, like a service center, anyway, uh, I guess sharing group voicemail that would be so cool. It's really functional. It's really helpful. And another solution we can have here, based on our group voicemail feature, is actually the broadcast solution. So I means if I'm a manager or I'm a supervisor, you know, working in the office, and I would like to send some audio messages to my employees, to my colleagues, anyway, I can also use the group voicemail feature, uh, by, not by sharing the voicemail, but I can actually give them a broadcast. Well, it's, it's, it's totally different comparing with the traditional broadcast, because as we know, traditional broadcast is kind of like a public broadcast. That's a little bit weird, right? Now, this is more like a, just an audio message for them. So every single user, they will be able to have this audio message on their IP phone, on their Linkus mobile client, Linkus PC client, and also the web client. I mean, you will get the notification, of course. So simply go access your voicemail. There you go. That's the way how you get the message. So that will be our group voicemail feature on the PC system this time. Well, what else do we have here? Now, take a look. Another thing we have on this new firmware is going to be the distinctive ringtone. Well, distinctive ringtone is nothing new, right? Uh, it's actually something we've already supported for many years, right? Even on our previous Asterisk PBX, we do support that feature, right? Now, this time, distinctive ringtone is back on our P-Series system. Not just back, but we can also support something more. So this time with our distinct and ringtone feature, you will be able to, you know, have a pretty good solution for helping you to figure out 
uh, different costs from different channels. I mean, by using the, I mean, by configuring the distinct ringtone on your inbound route. But besides that, you can also use our distinct ringtone for your IVR, for your queue, and for your ring group. That's something we can do it here. It's really functional comparing with the previous traditional distinct ringtone, right? And uh, besides that, another thing, guys, another thing I guess lots of you people care about is so much, it's gonna be the Microsoft Teams integration. Yes, that solution is also back on our PCR system this time again. So this time you guys can definitely use our PCR system for figuring out this integration with Microsoft Teams. And by the way, we're gonna have a video tutorial next week. So if you guys wanna know more details, don't forget to check on our YouTube channel next week. All right. Uh, well, I guess that was a few important features uh, available on this new firmware besides that. All right, by the way, there are some other features that are supported on this new firmware as well. Uh, for example, like SIP forking is back on our PC system this time, and there will also be all busy mode for endpoints. The web call window customization, it's also available on your web client this time, and the distinctive caller ID name, it's supported as well. Besides that, paging and intercom features is back, and AMI, it's supported. So if you wanna have some customization, just go for it, all right? So I guess that was all we have for this video. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel for more details, and if you wanna know more about the Yaystar solutions, please visit yaystar.com. I'm Jason, catch you guys in the next one.